Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Two days ago, Stability AI released uh, the newest Stable Diffusion 3.5 models. People have been using it and say that it's amazing. So I want to also try it. So this video will be used as a tutorial for running it. I'm using a MacBook to run it, but the method should also apply to PC to Linux, Windows, to other platform as well. So let's uh, get started. So to use it, I will be using the Comfy UI to do it. If you have been following my previous video, you will be able to get running with Comfy UI easily. I will post the link to the description. So you will go to the Comfy UI example page. There is a page called SD3. They have updated it to include the SD 3.5. You will need to download the model files. So go to the Stable Diffusion 3.5 Hugging Face page. There are two models of it. The one I'm using currently is 3.5 Large. Another one is 3.5 Large Turbo. So for the Large, it requires more steps. For the Turbo, you will only need a like four steps, so that can save you a lot of time. In terms of the downloads, we see that the larger one got 95.2K, whereas the turbo one got 8K. The larger one is obviously more popular. Okay, let's click that. We see they, they also have a example page here. Feel free to try that. So let's go to the 3.5 large model page. There is a model card. It shows you some output examples. There's also the model's architecture diagram. We see there's many, many information. Feel free to read them. And also pay attention that uh, it's a gated model. So you are needed to fill out a form to agree the license agreement. So that's, that's why you will see there is a gated model here. Once you have the access, click uh, the files and the versions and uh, scroll down, you will get to the actual model files. So this one is uh, what you gonna need. So download that, please. The size is 16.5 gigabytes. It may take a while. After it completes the download, we will need to move that to your Comfy UI checkpoint location. So let's, uh, let's go to your Comfy UI location, go to the models checkpoints. And for here, it's where your downloaded file needs to go to. Move it to that to here. So next, you will need uh, several other clip files. I think this one, you may already have them. If you don't, you go click uh, the link and you can download those files directly. They will either also need to be moved, go into the clip here. So make sure that you have those in here. After all those being downloaded, you are ready to run it using Comfy UI. So make sure that uh, you also do a upgrade of your Comfy UI. You go to your Comfy UI root directory, do a git pull, and start your Comfy UI server. So on Mac, you will need an extra flag here. But on other machines, like other Windows or Linux, you may not need that. And press Enter. So very quickly, we see that uh, it asks you to go to the URL. So as usual, go there. There's one workflow you will need. This is the workflow. You download uh, this uh, image and drag it onto your Comfy UI web browser interface. We see that uh, it appears and we can make any modification you would like. One important thing to note is that uh, for the clip, the FP16 requires more VRAM. So if you have a uh, weak machine, you may want to use the FP8 one for the clip here and the G is all right all here. We see the checkpoint is SD 3.5 large. We just uh, downloaded and we can see that uh, make a 
adjustment to any notes you would like, then you will want to enter your prompt. I will do a quick test. I hope that it's very good at doing the text. So let's do that. Okay, and now we are able to start the generating. Let's press the Q prompt. I will open the RAM and the GPU. We see now it uh, completes. Took about 700 seconds for 20 steps. So this one, the output, I think it looks uh, really, really nice. We can see lots of like details and also the words is uh, getting right. And we can see lots of details of the flow and overall quality, I would say like A+. Plus. What do you think? Feel free to leave any comments or let me know if any questions. I think uh, there's many, many customization experiments that uh, you, you can do. You can also compare it with other models like uh, VS the Flux, Flux 1 Dev or Flux 1 Chanel. Overall, I think it's, it's quite nice. Although I would say to use lots of RAM. So if you have a smaller VRAM machine, I would suggest to wait a little bit longer to try it. Now let's switch gear to the 3.5 large turbo. This one is a gestilled model, which means that you not need 20 steps, but only four to eight steps. Let's try it. Similarly, you would need to download the model file. You go to the hugging face. Also agree to the agreement license. Once you get access, go to the files and you see scroll down, you get to the large turbo save tensors file. Click download file. When the download completes, you will need to move that to your models, checkpoints, location. So similarly, you will drag that to the checkpoints location, the large turbo, so this one. You will need to restart your config UI, control C, and uh, run it again. So this way it will refresh the model files for you. And again, go to your web browser, 81, 88 port. And uh, in this case, the workflow stays the same. The only thing you will need to change is the load checkpoints. Do a refresh. And go to the checkpoint. Select the large turbo, the safe tensors. And in this case, you modify the K sampler, reduce the number of steps from 20 to 4. Okay, if we go back to the comfy UI page, we do see that the CFG needed to be 1.2. So we'll, we will modify that to 1.2. I feel this one might be the key to increase the quality. So let's try the four step and uh, cue the prompt. We see that uh, the generating has been completed. Four steps took uh, one minute and uh, 50 seconds, totaling one sixteen seconds. The quality becomes much better than previously. So the, I think the tip is to decrease the CFG to around the 1.2. And we do see the output uh, is uh, quite nice quality, almost uh, on par with the previous uh, large safe tensor models. Looks quite nice. I think that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think or if you have any question. Thank you for your support. 
please subscribe to my channel. I will provide more updates in future videos. Goodbye.